military risk their lives to ensure our safety every single day. And when they come home, many are wounded physically and emotionally. That's right. This week, more than 200 veterans came together for support. KXHC News reporter Alexander Bush shows us how they are literally riding to recovery. Nearly 500 miles. I had a couple panic attacks and uh, ended up in the hospital. To recovery. I thought it might be a good thing for a little bit of mental clarity and, and being around like-minded people and to heal together. More than 200 veterans and supporters are pedaling with their feet or hands from Houston to Fort Worth. When I'm in the saddle, even though it's a little bit rough sometimes, um, it's two wheels of freedom and you, you get the mental clarity and you, and you don't feel useless anymore. And this cycling challenge is more than just physical. You might have a veteran show up and he's depressed, he's not really relating to anyone, he's not speaking, and then by day six he's giving everybody high fives, hugs, and it's a unique family experience for them. Family that's coming together to help themselves and one another. When you get, get behind somebody and you help push them, that's what it's all about, is just helping somebody else, and the selflessness actually helps you feel a little bit more useful. Definitely helps us heal and see that the community still supports us even though the fight overseas is over. We still have the fight here at home. Fight to encourage veterans. Take a chance. You know, you've already served your country. You've done a great deed um, that most will not and will, you know, will never do. To get on the ride to recovery. In College Station, Alexandra Bush, KX HD News. The Texas Challenge will end in Fort Worth, where cyclists will be joined by the public for an honor ride in memory of Sergeant Clay Hunt. Hunt was a former Marine Corps sniper who took his own life after battling depression.